Hello viewers, this is Kristen Ness with a quick opening tutorial, a look at the Google Docs organization and basic navigation. This is the first in a series of quick snippets of information about operating in Google Docs. I am a building principal and I'm sharing this information for my staff members. This is not a professional presentation. As a matter of fact, I've only been a Google Docs user for a year. There are probably far more knowledgeable people out there, but I'm going to share with you a little bit about the day-to-day -day operations and a little bit of information that might be helpful for school staff members at Scott County School District 2. This is the opening page of my Google Docs account. As you see on the left-hand side, there are several items listed in the column. Uh, one of the things I want to note is I have a series of gray folders. Those are called my collections. Uh, Google Docs has its own language, you might say, and what other uh, places call files or folders, uh, Google Docs refers to as collections. We're going to get a little bit into that in one of our subsequent tutorial videos, but I wanted to share with you uh, what that was, and uh, we're going to move on now to the center column. The center column is our actual list of documents. These are documents that I have in my home view. Uh, there's a whole series here, obviously, and there are things that we're working on or have created in uh, the last few days, weeks, and months. Everything with a blue icon is a document, actually like a Word or Open Office or Pages. It is the Google form of a document. If there is a green icon, the green icon represents a spreadsheet. And if we scroll down a little bit, we'll probably hit one or two orange icons. The orange color represents a presentation. So if you are looking and scanning for documents, if you don't have a good organization plan, uh, if you know what you're looking for, at least know that the blue, green, and orange uh, helps you out just a little bit. There are some other uh, types of documents uh, in Google Docs, but we're not going to go into that through our actual presentation. Uh, the owner column is pretty fascinating. That helps you remember that you are sharing documents or have the ability to share documents and co-create documents with other users. Uh, right now in the list you see the word me, a couple of things that I have made, but then the owner of uh, uh, is a different name on several documents. That means those people created their own documents and shared them with me. And the third column over is last modified. Uh, that tells you when this document was last adjusted or modified and who made the adjustment or modification. So that's pretty neat if you want to keep track of some of your collaborative things uh, telling you who made the adjustment and when they made the adjustment couple more things. If you know the name of the document that you're looking for, you can just go up to the top and uh, type it in the uh, navigation box and hit search, and it'll find it for you. Uh, a couple other things, uh, sort. Uh, it allows you, there's a feature here that allows you to sort and uh, change the order of the documents here. I just use by last modified. It works for me. And of course, there's a couple settings adjustments. You can use comfortable, cozy, or compact. I use compact. I like to try to jam as much information on the screen as possible, but for some people that might make you crazy, so just know that Google Docs gives you some choices as to how you have your information presented. So that's basic navigation. You can tell we're in Google Docs because of the Google settings. Documents at the top here is highlighted. We have a list of documents and we're going to share with you a little bit about creating and sharing and managing your documents in the next few videos.